Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use a to-do list Excel template or a task prioritization template that is available for download on my website trumpexcel.com. If you're watching this video on YouTube you can also find the link below this video. So I'm right now on the first tab to-do list of this template and here I have a, a list of activities that we create at the beginning of every day as our to-do list but an additional thing that we have done is we've assigned an importance and urgency level to each activity so you can see I have this activity complete assignment could be work related and I have the importance level which is yes and urgent yes so this is both urgent as well as important I have this another activity called mom which is obviously very important but may not be urgent out of as of today you can maybe call her tomorrow or day after uh, similarly there is dentist appointment maybe uh, it's really important but maybe not urgent as of today uh, similarly I have these other activities activities, scheduling weekly checkpoint calls, uh, responding to emails or some random meeting which may not be important at all but really urgent. So you can type the activity here and you can then assign the importance and urgency level to the activity. We also have this status column where you can identify whether the activity has to be started yet, whether it's in progress or it has already been completed. And once you have done these activities, we can move to the second tab, which is task matrix. Here I have four quadrants based on their importance and urgency levels. The first one is important as well as urgent. The other one is important and not urgent. Third is not important urgent. And the fourth is not important and not urgent. I have taken this idea from uh, the book by Stephen Covey, which is Seven Habits of Highly Effective People where he talked about Eisenhower decision matrix where these activities are classified into these four quadrants and he say that says that the activities that are important and urgent should be taken care of immediately as these are the activities that you need to manage that these are necessary for you the second quadrant is important and not urgent these are activities where you should focus these are important for your personal development and your leadership development the third quadrant is not important and urgent these are activities that that are not important for your development so if possible delegate these activities or try and avoid these uh, but if not avoidable then you may have to do it because it's, it, it's still urgent and the fourth quadrant is not important and not urgent this is just a waste of time so delay it as long as possible or avoid it all in together now as you can see that these activities here in this to-do list tab we assigned importance and urgency level and based on these levels these activities have been classified into these four boxes so instantly if you have this in front of you you can identify these quadrants identify these activities and take care of it so you know that these are the two activities that need your immediate attention and you should complete these as soon as possible move on to the second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant now if you need to add another activity to it then you can do this simply by going back to to-do list and writing an activity here. So for example, I may want to add this activity workout. So I need to exercise and this is important, very important for my health, but it again may not be urgent. So I can delay it maybe by a couple of days. And now when I go here to task matrix, I can see that this activities has been added. It was not there earlier. Similarly, I can go on adding activities, just go on and and add another activity here and it will automatically get added to these boxes. Now the other way of adding an activity is using this button here. So you can simply click on this button it opens a pop-up box and here you can type an activity. So maybe uh, another very very important activity is uh, buying a gift for your wife. So buying a, a gift oops, for wife and the importance level obviously is very very high but urgency is maybe low maybe uh, her birthday is uh, a couple of months away or maybe your anniversary is a couple of weeks away so it's not that urgent and the status is maybe in progress you've already ordered it and you can add this task and as soon as you add it you can see you have it here buying a gift for wife if you go back to the to-do list it has already been added here along with the status as I said status is optional you can choose to neglect it now when you have it in front of you you may want to 
check off some of the activities when you have completed it as someone said there is no point in creating a checklist if you cannot check it off so if you want to if you, if some of the activity has been completed and you want to cross it off then just double click on it so for example if i have already called my mom then i can just double click on it and it gets checked off so i know that this activity has been completed maybe i've already exercised went to the gym in the morning i can just double click here and it gets checked off similarly all these activities maybe you have already responded to those stupid emails then you can just check it off and once you have done it by the end of the day or whatever time period suits you you have completed these activities you may want to delete it from this list you only want to display activities which are yet to be done so to do that just come here on this button and just click on remove completed activity so as soon as i click on it all these activities get erased from this list as well as this list so i also do not have these activities here now you can again go on adding activity just click on this go to this task bar and you can add it maybe uh, you want to again add an activity so let's say i want to call my friend someone called uh, name tom i do not have a friend by this name but maybe say i want to call tom and if i want to again try and add this task this will not let me do it because i have not assigned an importance and urgency level to it so i need to go and type that i i can manually type anything but make sure you're typing yes you're not typing gibberish if i do that it will not let me go ahead so i would type yes here it is important it is urgent maybe yes he was calling me for a couple of days i have not been able to return his calls so it's urgent as well and task status again as i said this is optional it is okay if you do not add it but maybe say i would say to be started i've to i'm to, i'm need i need to call him so i add this task and as soon as i do it i have this part here call tom again added here in this list and when i've done when i'm done calling tom i can just double click on it double click on uh, all of the other activities that i've completed maybe i've already have a dentist appointment and i can click on remove completed task and it gets removed so this is the to do list matrix that i've created uh, for uh, trumpexcel.com and uh, you can see there are some formulas here you can uh, simply go and unprotect this sheet and dissect it see how it has been made i have created this for 50 activities i believe 50 is a reasonable number the number of activities that you can take on on one day if you want to increase this number you can easily do it by changing the references you can just uh, have a look at this worksheet and the formulas all there are uh, make sure that once you have removed an activity uh, it you do not want it again because if you remove the activity it is gone it will not come back control z would not bring that activity back so i hope uh, this meet this template helps you be more productive in your work life in your personal life i uh, hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day